Now to another effort by Trump and his followers to suppress the vote, this time right here in North Carolina. The Trump campaign and North Carolina Republicans have asked the United States Supreme Court to block lower court rulings that allow the state to accept and count absentee ballots sent by mail that arrive after Election Day but before November the 12th. They argue that extending the deadline would, quote, pose an immediate threat to the integrity of the federal election process. I want to bring in Josh Stein. He is North Carolina's Attorney General. Attorney General Stein, good to see you. Thank you for uh, being with us today. Uh, I, I, uh, the last numbers I have, according to NBC, is that 2.92 million early ballots have been cast uh, in North Carolina. 26% of them, about a quarter, mail in, about three quarters in person. That is double uh, what would have been the same case in 2016. And my panel, which I'm going to uh, introduce to my viewers in a few minutes, my panel, Republicans, Democrats across, all said the one thing that works in North Carolina is voting. Absolutely. In fact, the numbers are now 3.1 million, Ali. Uh, the turnout here in North Carolina oh, wow. is unprecedented, and people are excited, and they're having their voice heard. Uh, we've had a, a huge turnout of mail-in votes, about 700,000. But North Carolina has traditionally been an early vote state. That's where people like to vote. We have 17 days of it. And the State Board of Elections this year insisted that every county have early voting on both weekends and have more locations and more hours. The whole thought was, let's have more time for people to vote so we have fewer crowds, and then that way we can have uh, a safer election. Uh, but this is ground zero for Donald Trump's weird stuff about voting, right? This is the place where he talked about uh, mail-in voting being a bad idea. It's the place where he told people, if you mail in your ballot, make sure you go in person uh, to also vote. Uh, this, is the, this is the anathema. This is the thing that, that Donald Trump doesn't want to happen. It he has been the greatest source of disinformation in this election. He has said that the only way he would lose is if this election somehow was stolen from him. That is just not the way democracy works. That's not how it works in America. You, if you lose, you don't take to the street with pitchforks. You roll up your sleeves and you fight hard the next election. He's also said that mail-in vo voting is unsafe or ripe for fraud with absolutely no basis for doing so and having a personal history of having voted by mail himself. And he has told North Carolina voters to violate the law in two ways. One, he told people repeatedly to vote twice, which is a felony here, and to rush the polls and watch other voters. That is also against the law in North Carolina. Uh, we, you know, once we get past this election, I think all of us are going to be thinking more about voting and how we do it better. You've got a great example here in North Carolina, particularly in Wake County, where there's an app and you can determine how long it's going to actually take you to vote before you go. Yeah, I, we've done a lot of innovations through this election because of COVID. For voting by mail, you can actually put in your vote by mail request form through email. Then you can sign up for a tracking system where they will text you that they put it in the mail. Then when you put it in the mail, the po you'll get a text that the post office has it, you'll get a text that the Board of Elections have it, and that it was counted. And so you don't have to worry, did my ballot make it or not? And similarly for the early vote sites now, there's something like 20 here in Wake County, you can go online and see which one closest to you has the shortest line, almost, almost like being at the checkout where you can see what the wait time is at the various checkout lines to get in the shortest line. And, all of this is about trying to make it safe and easy for voters, even when we're in a pandemic. Attorney General Josh Stein, good to see you again. Thank you for joining us this morning. Josh Stein is the Attorney General of North Carolina. Well,